Hey, we're going to talk a little bit about the history of Dodson. And what I'd like to do is kind of start out actually where we're at today and then kind of go backwards a little bit. So if you think about, you know, we're, we're very fortunate that dodson has been successful over the years. Awesome. And we started in 1978, Dodson Machine Company. And we're at a point where we're, we've got some great people. Uh, we're in great industries, uh, medical device, food, uh, some other industries, but all industries that are somewhat recession proof. And uh, I always look around and, I, and I'm amazed at the passion of our team that we have today and how everybody is into their job always trying to do their best. Uh, there's a great camaraderie, there's great teamwork. But in any business and in any organization, whether it's a college or a company or anything, there's a beginning. And if you look at our beginning, um, it really all started there as far as the values and why we are what we are today. And I'd like to talk a little bit about my dad, and that is the beginning. So he came from a uh, not a normal background as far as uh, you know he was a, he was an orphan at, at a young age and he lived with his grandmother in Oklahoma and uh, he ended up uh, coming back to Chicago uh, to go to high school at Pullman Tech High School in Roseland, which was a great high school for teaching the trades and he had a real good aptitude for machining and he learned a lot right there and he knew he wasn't going to go to college he knew eventually he would get out of high school and serve his apprenticeship in one of the trades so he ended up uh, with a couple different jobs which he said was probably the best thing ever just to see what he wanted to do he ended up in machining at Argonne National Laboratory and that was kind of like the one of the best training programs and the best places you could work in Chicago at the time still a very very good organization and they were working on some of the you know, most uh, high level projects for the United States government. And they had scientists there, they had engineers there, and they were always had new developments. So doing that small lot work and that prototype work was you know, very important uh, at Argonne and that's kind of what we were able to do here at Donson. So he decided um, back in the late 60s, he had six children and we were being raised in Evergreen Park and my mom, actually, I give her a lot of credit because, you know, we were, he was working two jobs, delivering pizzas at night. And my mom kind of pushed him and said, you know what, did you ever think of going your own business? And um, he said, you know what, that is something that I have thought about. And him and my uncle, who happened to be at Argonne at the same time, decided to put a couple machines in their basement and they tried uh, getting some customers and they were successful doing that and they would so they'd work a full-time job during the day and do some machining at night and then uh, in about 1970 that time frame right there they said you know what let's go let's quit our job at Argonne and let's go full-time at this and that's what Alpha Machine formed and that was my dad and my uncle and they were mostly food industry at the time but they had a couple other industries and then in 1978, my dad, knowing that he had four sons coming up, he said maybe it'd be a good idea if we separate the two companies. And he started Donson Machine, which is Don and Son. And my uncle stayed with Alpha Machine. And Donson has, you know, continually grown every year. And probably the two biggest things that, uh, uh, that our dad, my dad taught me and that he taught all the people here at the early stages of the company was invest in people and invest in technology. And what he meant by invest in people was he was always looking for guys that were aggressive go-getters, uh, good high moral character people, good values, and just one of, you know, people that just would do anything it took to make the customer happy, to get the job done on time, to do it with quality. And if you look around our company today, we have a bunch of those people. And I always tell our guys here at Donson, I said, we probably could take the people we have today and go into almost any business and be successful, whether it's building homes or putting in swimming pools or coaching a football team, because we just have good people that want to do the right thing. 
Um, the other thing is investing in technology. For some reason, he just wanted the latest and the greatest machines available. So in 1978, around that time, he decided to partner with Morisiki and he decided to buy the best equipment. He was fortunate that we had a couple guys, um, Bob Howe and my brother Brian, who were very good machinists, young machinists, but didn't mind learning new technology. So from that point on, it seems like we're always calling Morisiki and some of our other suppliers, Mazak and Citizens and Mitsubishi, and we're always asking them, what's the next best piece of equipment you have? And we bring it in here, and our guys, it takes a few months, but all of a sudden they're running this equipment, and this is how we stay super competitive on our pricing and our quality. So Datsun Machine had a great start. Um, we had a great founder and a great mentor to many of us, and the tradition continues to carry on. We actually now have our third generation in the company in Mike Bettinardi and Joey Bettinardi, and we hope to continue this um, great company for many, many years. We love our customers that push us to uh, get better and better every day. So it's been a great 42 year run as far as where we're at today. And we hope to continue this for another 40, 50, 60 forever.